Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. You can see Matthew and Nathan are working up on a roof behind me. Nathan looks a little bit more comfortable than Matthew. This isn't our job, we are here with Stuart Cater who's kindly let us come along and see how solar systems, battery systems get installed and do a bit of practical on-site training. So we're going to run you through a little bit of what's going on with this install. I'll show you some of the um, inverter gear downstairs in the garage and some of these panels going on here. Stuart may even give us a, as well of what this system all comes together like, but you can see we've got the solar edge voltage optimizers. The guys have got the rails on this side of the roof already. There's another six panels going on the other side. And um, yeah, these solar edge um, optimizers will let you know which one of the panels has gone faulty if one of them goes down. It's a really clever system. And again, we'll have a little bit of a chat about that later on. So you can see we've got a few of the panels on here now. There's eight of them on this side, which is forming part of a little system of its own. There's another six going here and six over the other side. Matthew and Nathan are on with that. I've got Stuart here with me who's going to explain a little about the system as a whole. So this is Stuart Cato, Cato Electrical Services. How are you mate? Before yeah, not get... bad, thank you. Not Good bad. stuff. Can you take us through this system on here just to explain what various bits of the components are from the panels to the voltage optimizers? Yeah, so as you said, we've got 20 395 watt panels um, split into two separate strings. So we've got a string of eight that's already in place and then we've got a, a split east-west string so we've got six over there six this side um, to capture some morning generation as well uh, and that's all in one string now they're all connected through the the solar edge system with so that's, each yeah that's those little voltage optimizer things up yeah, there. yeah yeah so the the power optimizers yeah oh, okay um, and what they do is they allow each panel to work individually that's you know that it's really good because then if you get shading for example with the chimney we've got here um, just over there yeah that will get shading maybe six seven o'clock in the evening but it will mean that only those panels in shade will stop generating yeah whereas with a conventional system you get a bit of shade on one of the panels you effectively lose the string got you so that's really interesting maximizing the generation from the system as a whole for using these solar uh, power optimizers and you've showed me the app actually on these Stuart you can tell as well if one individual panel's gone faulty yeah so if you register them I watched um, Stuart do it and it was basically a QR code that you scan in and then if ever any of these go faulty you know exactly where to jump onto the roof and start hunting for an issue so yes it's properly good that system um, really really nice we'll jump back on with the rest of the install and then we'll have a little chat when we've got a bit, a bit more together do it. so behind me you can see there are 14 panels on this side of the roof on the other side of the roof we've got six panels being installed giving a total of 20 roughly 400 watts per panel so an eight kilowatt generation system these have all got solar edge power optimizers and there is also a solar edge battery system and inverter that i will show you in the garage we're here learning how all this goes together and works thanks to the brilliant stuart cato and we're hoping to be able to offer these installs to our customers in the next few months it's been a really interesting couple of days very grateful to stuart for taking the time to show us all this works we'll jump down to the garage and have a little look at some of the control items i guess and the inverter and how it's all wired together on an ac and dc um, system i'll show you that in just a sec now how well this is coming across on camera because it's difficult to to show you much on the roof but essentially underneath here you'll see this hangers now they fasten into the joists underneath the roof tiles um, depending on the roof structure you have to do different things to the tiles to make them fit over those hangers and make sure you're getting that weatherproof seal back onto the roof and then your rails attach onto the hangers as you can see there to clamp those into position so you know you've got a solid and level fixing you then level your rails um, up the slope of the roof and also make sure you've got them level in that orientation as well with the right spacings between you know you can naturally follow the the roof structure as it is because whilst you might be putting things on square level and true if the roof isn't in that configuration to start with it often looks better from the ground if you blend into what's there we've been lucky on this one that everything was square level and true so we've been able to do that as well and you can see on the the panels themselves obviously those solar edge power optimizers that are underneath you simply plug them in didn't want to show you any of this on camera because you know it's it's eliminating risk when you're working on roof to the lowest level possible and it didn't feel safe or sensible for us to video people carrying panels around and then wiring them up and clamping them down we were just focused on that job obviously we're learning here as well but you can see brackets essentially screw into the rail there's a it's like a spring-loaded 
um, clamp inside there and as you screw down it pushes apart to grab into those rails so it can't come out you see you've got them in the middle you see there's um, four up the middle of that rail holding these panels down here and that kind of matches as you run along and then obviously the end ones have an end clamp that works in the same way but there's no outer edge to it because it's just securing the final panel and then once you've got them all locked in you know that's kind of it with these these things it's all about the wind uplift um, as much as it is stuff falling off in a traditional sense so obviously that's where it's going to take a lot of the force there'll be snow loadings and and wind loadings but generally it's the wind getting underneath and lifting them up there's also going to be some pigeon guards going on this as well to stop them getting in around the fish but that's all to be dressed in another day um, guys are on the other side you can probably hear them grinding see down the garden here we're in a lovely part of the world um, we've had a really nice time actually doing this it's starting to peek through some sunshine so we can see a bit of the generation downstairs this is wired in a string of eight panels together here and this six matching with the six on the other side on a string and that's just the way the solar edge software put the system together um, Joe was telling me that you, you design it all on the system and, and then once you've done that it'll position the strings in the orientation that works best for the direction of your roof um, and the reason that, that that's like that is the like I said there's um, the sun's going to pick up those panels in the morning on the other side of the roof and then swing around to these ones and it's just the balancing out of the system while those panels are generating alongside those with them equaled out in the best way i guess that's what it did did it in that way it's my basic layman's term and understanding of what's going on with that and whilst this is a near enough eight kilowatt system it's never going to generate that because the sun isn't physically pointing at all of the panels at the same time but the time it's moved around to pick these up at the end over here it's no longer having a maximum impact on the ones at that side and eventually they go into shading until later on in the evening when the sun reappears over there and picks bits of them up as well so it's quite clever and that's why there's only a six kilowatt inverter downstairs i hope that's made some sense just having a quick view of those i'll take you down this way so you can see it from the end pretty decent so you can see Stuart and Sean have got this set up now. So we've got the DC cabling that goes up into the loft through this void here that we've been lucky enough to find. The tubes all labelled up as having the DC cabling, a BG pod that was existing to work from. So that is what it is. The DC isolators on the strings coming down from the loft. They're going into the solar edge inverter. You can see those on the bottom there. This is the AC feed into the inverter that's off this isolator here and out the board. And then you've got your solar edge monitoring meter in there and a physical meter just to see what's going on there. This is all going to be connected into the internet. Stuart's got a installer login that he can use to see exactly what's going on on all of the systems he's installed. And the consumer has the information that they need as well in a similar but different variant of that app. And they can see the system up on the little sticker there. We've got the labels on the consumer unit to say that there's a, a PV on the roof um, and I'll show you out the meter cabinet as well where there's another label there for that too so this is all out for anybody who comes along to work on this system afterwards there's no trunking there's no board covering over the cables everything's there easy to access so if you have to swap an inverter out it's an easy job swap a meter out really straightforward and simple and it looks neat and tidy as well everything's functional if i spin you around down the side you'll be able to hear matthew and nathan up on the roof annoyingly grinding all right it's it's locked but take my word for it that inside this meter cabinet there is a solar pv on the roof sticker for anyone who's coming along to work on the system they know that's up there stuart nice van and um yeah that's that's kind of it it's a eight kilowatt system but the panels are split across the roof in different orientations so they're not all generating at peak times together so it's only ever going to peak to a maximum of just under six kilowatts that's why it's a six kilowatt inverter it's physically impossible unless we start orbiting the sun in a different way for it ever to not be the case it's perfectly ample on this inside so as you can see here again isolates for the ac isolates for the dc into the main board Obviously a lot of this other wiring is all existing and the strings up to the loft. So again, hope you found that mildly interesting. Um, we're going to pack up now. We've absolutely loved 
our trip down to meet Stuart and Sean. They've been true gents and shown us the install from start to finish, taking us through it. Matthew and Nathan are currently up on the other side of the roof, grinding out tiles, fitting roof hangers. You know, with all of my videos, I always try and eliminate a little bit of the install, so it's not a how-to. Try and give you an idea of what that kind of works like. This is training you simply can't buy from the classroom. We wanted to know how to work on roofs, how to attach the roof hangers, level your rails, get your panels set square and true and straight. All of those things that we don't know as electricians and now we've got a very good idea of what we need to be doing. We're going to go off and do some more bits of this with Stuart again perhaps and some other installers as well. Build our competence up and then as I said, maybe later on this year into next year we can look at getting our first installs done as well. Oh, well I remember, there is a battery system going on this. But anyone who's in the solar and battery storage game will realise stock of those is really difficult and it's not coming for several months yet but it is going to live just outside on that wall out there and then the customer will have that battery getting charged up by all of these solar panels to use on an evening. If you've liked this video give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel, get involved with the comments, I'll leave a link in the description to go off and find Stuart's business. He is an installer down in West Sussex, so between London and South Coast. If you need a solar system fitting, I would highly recommend you speak with Stuart. He is an absolute expert in this and you won't get anything better anywhere else at all. See you on the Okay, so we're on our way home now. We've had a great day working with Stuart up on the roof. Um, we've got the 20 panels all up. They're all working. If you are familiar with Solar Edge or you're not, as you connect each panel in, you should see roughly one volt rising. Um, and Stuart had the, as I showed on the video earlier on, the little test meter plugged in to see that happening. So as you connect each panel, um, you get a good confirmation that you know things are working right, which is nice. How have you two found it up on the roof? Let's start with you, Nathan. What do you make of working on solar systems? I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. You it's like it? Good. So you're not scared of heights or anything then? Nah, I enjoy myself. I, I think it was noticeable how much you were enjoying yourself up there. I mean, it, I can imagine it is quite nice, isn't it, in summer, but imagine it blowing a gale and been minus four. Yeah, I think it's I definitely for the warmer weather, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, so favourite part of it, I guess you've, <coughs> you've learnt lots. Yeah. yeah. Stuart, oh. Stuart, a good teacher. Yeah. Show us how to do all the roof tiles and stuff. Yeah, I guess that's never done that anything like that before. No, exactly. Neither have I. So it's a lesson for all of us, isn't it? Knowing how. I mean, with this one, it was the pan tiles. So cutting out the back with a grinder. I guess it's going to be different for slate and all the rest of it. We've still got all of that to learn. What about you, Matthew? What are you taking from it? Uh, don't know really. You need to get better at walking on the roof instead of just crawling around it. I think that's just repetition, like practice things don't you so the job you do day to day now you do a lot of it on autopilot because you've been doing it that long you just know how to do it don't you you're not yeah, I guess. stumbling around your croppers and you know tripping over steel wire armors everywhere you're just used to it I am. yeah you are well, you're not used to it yet are you so you're still learning but I guess um, up on the roof it's just practice get more comfortable being up there um, and Stuart certainly was well practiced up there, wasn't he? So he will come, just takes time. I need to go to the gym as well to get bigger muscles for lifting them on the roof. They're heavy, those panels. I think Stuart said they're 18 kilos. So it's the size of them as well, isn't it? It's not just like a little 18 kilo weight in your hand. It's um, flapping around in the breeze. You've got the wind going against it. It's easy to lose your foot in and balance because of that. It's not like a central point, is it? But yeah, anyway, it was really good of Stuart to let us come and work with him for two days, giving up two days of his time. We haven't slowed him down. I don't think we sped him up either, in fairness. If you, as I've said earlier in the video, if you're looking for a solar installer or a battery installer and you're in the West Sussex area between London and the South Coast, look up Kato Electrical Services. Um, give Stuart a, a bell. Absolute legend. He knows exactly what he is doing. And we're hoping to come and work with him again on a different roof type, perhaps a slate one, so you can share some of your expertise in working around and fixing the anchors for those as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, we will catch you on the next one.